Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be building something that I find very cool. We're going to be building an image comparison slider using an NPM package called React Image Comparison Slider. And this is pexel.com that I have open where we get our images that we're going to use. But technically what I want to build is something that Frontend Mentor has on their website where we have the solution on the left and we have the design on the right and you can slide between the solution and the design to see how well you did uh, in terms of the solution. So I find this to be very cool and uh, we are going to be building this in React JavaScript. So right away, uh, I already have my command prompt open and I am running now uh, npx create react app and the application is called image comparison slider. So I'm going to let this run and then once it finishes running, then I'm going to continue with the video. Okay, so React Hub has finished canvassing and now what I'm going to do is cd into the newly created folder called image-comparison-slider and then I'm going to open Visual Studio Code in this folder. Okay, so once this opens, let me close this now that we are done with it. Close. So as Visual Studio Code opens, what I want to do is immediately install uh, the dependency that we're going to use and the dependency is called React Image Comparison Slider and I have the npm page right here. So this is the name of the npm package and this is how you install it right there, npm install React Image Comparison Slider. And then this is its usage and we're going to talk about the props in a moment because we're going to be using some of them. Now, um, what was I doing? I was installing, okay, so npm, npm install react-image-comparison, comparison-slider. So as this installs, then we can begin to create our, uh, our component in app.js. I'm not deleting anything. So in app.js, I'm just going to actually remove all of this and I'm going to say refce so that instead of a function component, uh, sorry, instead of using function in our component, we can just use an arrow function instead. So inside here, I'm going to return a div, and inside this div, we will need to import the image slider. Uh, this is the installation, so we need to import it. So import image slider from uh, our dependency right there. Actually, I can just copy this, right? So copy this and just paste it right there because it's going to be installed in a moment. And then inside this div, I'm going to return the component, as you can see, we're going to return the component that ends right there. And you can see it takes in an image prop, which is a string. So it will link to the image that we want as our first image. And then the second image as a string as well. And then we need, uh, do we need an on slide? Uh, we don't really need an on slide technically because this is just a, a console log. So it, it doesn't really do much. So I'm just going to grab the image one and the image two, and then we're also going to set this in a moment. So we need to say uh, we are returning image slider, right? Close it down. And then inside here, we need a few props. And the first prop is the image one. And the image one is going to be a string that we're going to get from pexels.com. And then we are going to need image two as a string as well. And notice that I don't have any commas because these are technically, uh, how do I say? they could be their props but i'm trying to make it easier where i want to say that in html they, are, they can be similar to attributes so we don't need commas to separate them out so i'm going to get my image addresses from pexels.com so i'm going to head over to pexels.com and let me just search for land landscape like that and then the orientation of course i want the landscape or the horizontal orientation like that and I'm just going to grab the first one copy image address where is it right there and then just paste it inside here and then grab the second one so this one just copy image address where is it copy image address and then just paste it inside there and immediately uh, we should be able to see something on the screen uh, but first of all let me just uh, place some heights and width. So I'm going to place some inline styling where I'm going to say the width for this should be what should I say? Let me say 75%. And then the height, 
should be um, hmm. let me say 90 viewport heights and then let me say margin on the top margin top to be uh, 10 viewport heights and then margin bottom to be 10 viewport heights as well so it's technically 10 on the top and 10 on bottom and then um, 90 viewport heights but did I do that correctly? This should be five, right? This should be five viewport heights. There you go. And then in order for us to see this, I should confirm that this has finished running. So I'm just going to start my development server. So npm start, which should start my dev server. And then we should be able to see this on the screen where we're going to fetch these images, these two images. And then we should, uh, we should have the basic functionality for sliding now uh, between the images and comparing them so i'm just going to wait for this to finish loading and i can close this and close this right okay so as you can see we already have basically everything because of the npm package and this being our first image and this our second image you can see that we can already slide it we can already slice uh, uh we already have basically the the functionality that we need but let me just move this a bit to the center where I'm going to say um, what, 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 margin, is it margin left of auto and margin right of auto. This should center it. There you go. So now that it's centered, uh, we want to get some other props so that we can change this line. I want this line to be white in color. And then I want these two arrows to be black. And uh, I shouldn't have closed that other page. Where was it? This one here, because we need these props. So to change the slider color, this is the prop that we use. And we just pass in the string of the color that we need. So I need the slider color. And then for the arrows, um, where is it? I think this is it. Yeah, background color of the triangles on the sliders handle. So this is the hand color where we're also going to change it from red to black. So the first prop that we need, well, one props right here, we need the slider color. And the slider color will be equal to white. And then we need the handle color. Oops, I just talked about this. We need the handle color being equal to black. And this should change it in our application right there. Look at that. Looks, uh, I think this looks very nice. And of course, remember that we have set a fixed width here. So if you want to change this up, you can just change it up. If you want it smaller, bigger, you know, it's it's all uh, depends on what application that you want to use it in. So let me just add a title here and a dark background color. So I'm going to go into my index CSS, remove this, set the background color to a dark gray, which is 111H27 like that and then let me add a title at the top so an h1 oops what am i doing uh let me see if i can add it here i'm going to add an h1 that says image comparison slider and it should appear right there so let me move it to the center with some inline styling so i'm going to say style oops equals and i'm going to say text um what text align set that to center and then uh, text color wait is it color text color or color set that to white and then uh, um what else i want the font size set the font size to 64 pixels let's see how this looks very nice very nice um, let me remove this margin at the top or rather reduce it so that uh, I will, um, <laughs> the margin on the top will affect this right here. So let me reduce margin top here to about 30 pixels. Really? Did that not work? Let's say margin top of 2VH, 2V port heights. Is this really reloading? What did I do wrong? I thought this should work. 30 pixels, margin bottom of 5. Um, <laughs> let me remove this. 
what happens nothing happens uh what is happening really this the this is the issue that i have with inline styling i really really don't like inline styling hmm let me maybe let me reduce this height to 70 viewport heights so that it's technically just uh, a smaller width smaller height sorry 80 let's say 75 75 viewport heights should be good and there we go so that we can get rid of the horizontal scroll bar so that's technically it for this video and i really hope you enjoyed it but something is wrong and i think it's because maybe the image is bigger than uh what i've set it to right here but that's okay those are kinks that you can work out later okay so that would be it for this video and that's just an easy way to show you that you can add an image slider so that we can uh, have something similar to this as you can see from front end mentor which looks very very nice it looks very nice so thank you guys for watching and uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can follow me on twitch.tv forward slash tsb sankara for live streams and you can follow me on twitter as well to get updated on my schedule so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.